so just a um, just a bit of information about these RV stages. Uh, some some of you have asked some questions about them. Potentially, you all know who who makes them. Um, so this is a traditional one of Ivan's RV stages in terms of yeah. Apparently, only six or seven people have ever built one, but. Um, this is an active RV stage. It's got some JFETs on the on the on the output on the output side. Uh, let me just think. yeah. So oh, it's a little a little much. Try there we go. So there's the there's Toshiba uh, JFETs. Um, so you can see is the K170 and. Um, Sorry guys. Yeah. There they are. On these ones, I've put a little, um, a little heat sink on them. It's just something I did in the beginning and just haven't bothered taking them off. Uh, I don't think they do much, but nevertheless, that's the, that's the, um, this is the RV stage, the traditional active IV stage. Uh, the power supply that I'm using is a 15015 15 or negative 150, positive 15. Um, and the idea is to have a, as lower input impedance and lowest possible uh, output impedance uh, as possible on these IV stages. Now, I did use this one on its own. This this is a, a dual primary 1 to 29. So you can see, um, again, this is another modification that's not typical. There, it has two RV, it has two secondaries, or two primaries, sorry. There's a primary there and a primary here. Um, and then it feeds a sec, a, 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 a <laughs> you know, this is not easy to shoot. I wish I was a, a professional which you clearly can see I'm not. Uh, th this is the secondary there, and then the other secondary is here. Now, um, previous video, I did run this, uh, I've run this this IV from all the way from two ohms <coughs> on the primary, all the way up to, to 30, uh, and then up to 20 kilo ohms on the secondary. Um, and it works extremely well, fantastic. Uh, this. This um, this RV stage on, on Ian's DAC um, on Ian's DAC here has been uh, has been brilliant. And if you are planning to ever build a thing with something like this, one to 29, 13 ohms on the imp if this if this DAC sees 13 ohms here or uh, seven in this case, well, actually right now it's seeing five, so five ohms per channel. Um, that's a really good really good. Uh, set up for this DAC. Uh, it's feeding into this BOZ preamp here, um, which I which I bought the boards from Gareth and he assisted me to build this. But the idea was to have two preamps and herein lies the issue. So I have one preamp for uh, up to 100 hertz and then from 100 hertz onward I have uh, just a traditional, a traditional setup driving that the outer tower with the AMT and then these base drivers complement this um, and then that's what one amp is for for this this side but the idea was for me to to do it in analog and um, so I've taken this 1 to 29 here and then fed it into another 1 to 8 plus 8 so I've got so I've got a dual primary single secondary here active into a single jeez oh a single uh, primary dual secondary situation here, set up here uh, also with JFET so this is 12 matched pairs of of, <laughs> of JFET uh, feeding my preamp and the big problem here the big the challenge was making having this DAC essentially have two analog outputs for this preamp uh, sounds pretty simple, but trying to do it with a very high specification is, is tr very tricky. Um, as you can see, I've used some crappy resistors here. These will get changed out eventually, now that I'm finally arrived at some sort of 
resistance values. Like the fact that I'm using Ivan's uh, handmade uh, primary resistors here. Well, this is my second primary resistors. Uh, yeah, you can see 42 ohms. And then uh, I'm outputting to about 600 here, 700 ohms on this. So, well, what is that? This is 820, but it's more like 700. Uh, yeah, so that that is um that is that is it and um yeah so that the DAC is is seeing less than 10 ohms and um the preamp sees less than 20 ohms so well less than 30 ohms so probably 25 ohm output off the back of these transistors here getting those jfets and and that's it so uh 1 to 29 1 to 8 plus 8 uh each feeding each other fantastic setup the base is super super clean Anybody looking to build this, uh, Ivan is your man. I mean, <laughs> honestly, the guy knows. Yes, he honestly knows what he's talking about. I'll leave his um, contact details in the description. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid my crappy video here doesn't do the <laughs> do the magnificence of these these transformers any justice. Um, but anybody with some of these transformers who's thinking of potentially trying to build this active situation, whether it's a, a well, I don't think anyone on earth would ever bother building this thing. I mean, this is ridiculous. But it, it, if you've got a normal setup uh, and you, and you and you want to go active, the 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 improvements to the base response of the system is just it is phenomenal. Uh, with this, with this JFET, and I, and I suggest, and I, and I can strongly um, recommend that once you try an active stage, it's worth all the effort, the effort of the new, the power supplies, and uh, it's worth the effort. Um, one of the other things worth noting here that I've tried to run this, well, I have, I ran this for a very, very long time on Ian's LifePo4 here. Um, this was two 14 and a half volt rails. Um, works very well uh, of the life PO4 but you know after six seven hours that voltage one of the negative voltage dropped off a bit maybe it's because the battery's a little bit long in the tooth or whatever but uh, it's just not man enough to run all 12 so I've gone over to so this um, this uh, rig here I, I, I vor again I'll leave a description I, I'll leave your name in the description or his contact details in the description for these rigs very nice you can set it by these dip switches this is 15 volts straight either way uh, works very nice I've got a I've used a Quasimodo to balance the the transformer secondaries uh, on these on these diodes I mean the setup is fantastic very little in the way of uh, difference in sound. I think it sounds almost, well, I can't, I can't discern, I'm, I'm getting old, but I can't discern the difference between this and the batteries. Uh, if anything, it sounds a bit better because I'm able to leave this on now continuously, so it allows the JFETs to warm up and stay warm. Uh, again, I've only got this working, it's only been working for like an hour, really. Um, time will tell, but anybody who's thinking of making these, these um, active IVs, strongly recommend it's a huge huge improvement and then um you know sorting out the resistors best resistor i can find is charcroft um the z foils there they are um eventually one day i will uh, when when funds permit i'll change all of this out for charcroft but uh yeah it looks like i've arrived at the right values now um yeah strongly recommended lovely lovely uh setup